Hi, I'm Andrea Balbo. I work in Peter Shuck's group at the National Institutes of Health. In this video, we're going to demonstrate to you our procedures for the assembly, loading, and rotor alignment of an analytical ultracentrifuge sample cell. Let's get started. Collected here are the components of an analytical ultracentrifuge sample cell. Stacked inside the cell housing is a 12 millimeter double sector charcoal filled EPON centerpiece that will be sandwiched between two window assemblies. Each window assembly consists of a window gasket, a window liner, and a window held inside the window holder. These pieces will then be slid down inside the cell housing by aligning their keyways with the key that's found inside the housing barrel. A housing gasket and then a screw ring close the sample cell with a torque pressure of between 120 and 140 inch pounds. After loading your sample and reference, two housing plug gaskets and a housing plug seal the loading holes of the cell. To avoid scanning artifacts, leaks, and breakage during experiments, it is vital that all components be clean, dry, dust-free, and in the best possible condition. Examine often and replace when necessary. You will also need the following. An analytical ultracentrifuge titanium four-hole rotor, a laboratory balance, a torque wrench with a readable dial and a torque stand, a counterbalance.